Can you imagine how embarrassing it can be for someone to go to the bathroom, finishing your business, zip up, and then whoops, there's still a little urine dripping down your leg or staining your underwear? Welcome to Whole Health, your go-to channel for real talk about men's health, vitality, and wellness. Today's episode might be a little awkward, but trust me, it's something a lot of men deal with and hardly anyone talks about. So let's break the silence. Post micturition is super common. And no, you're not broken. But you do deserve to know why it happens, what causes it, and what you can do to stop it. So grab your favorite drink, get coffee, and let's get real about post urination dribbling. Let's start with the basics. Post micturition dribble means exactly what it sounds like urine leaking out shortly after you think you're done peeing. It can happen right after you sipped up or even minutes later when you least expect it. For some guys, it's a few drops. For others, it can dampen underwear or lead to embarrassment, especially in public or at work. And here's the thing. It's not necessarily a bladder problem. It often has more to do with your pelvic muscles, the urethra, and even how you position yourself when you urinate. Now, let's dive into why it happens. The urethra is the tube that carries urine from your bladder out through the penis. In men, it's longer than in women and curves around the prostate. When you urinate, the bladder contracts and pushes urine through the urethra. After you're done, the urethra is supposed to be empty. But for some men, urine gets trapped in the last section of the urethra, just behind the scrotum, in a space called the bulbar urethra. Why does it stay there? It could be weak pelvic floor muscles, an enlarged prostate pressing against the urethra, poor posture or habits during urination, aging as your muscles lose tone, a past infection or surgery that's affected nerve control or muscle coordination. Think of it like a straw. When you're done drinking, a bit of liquid can stay in the band of the straw. If you don't clear it out, it drips later. That's essentially what's happening with your urethra. Is it serious? The good news? post micturition dribble is rarely dangerous. It's annoying, it's embarrassing, but most of the time, it's not a sign of a serious health problem. However, and this is important, if it's accompanied by other symptoms like painful urination, Urgency, a weak stream, blood in your urine, pain in your lower back or testicles. Then it could be part of a larger issue like benign prostatic hyperlapsia or BPH, prostatitis, or even early signs of prostate cancer. So always talk to your doctor if you're unsure or if symptoms get worse. Here are the top risk factors for urine dribbling after urination. Number one, age. As you get older, your pelvic muscles weaken, your prostate may enlarge, and nerve signals may slow down. Number 2. Obesity. Belly fats puts pressure on your bladder and pelvic muscles. Number 3. Sedentary lifestyle. Sitting too much weakens the pelvic floor. Number 4. Smoking. It's bad for circulation and bladder health. Number 5. Prostate surgery. This can affect the nerves and muscles that control urination. Basically, if your lifestyle doesn't support your pelvic health, your plumbing gets lazy too. Okay, now let's get to the good stuff. If you're tired of the drip after the zip, here are science back solutions to regain control. Number one, do pelvic floor exercises. Kegels for men. Yes, guys can do kegels too, and they work. Your pelvic floor muscles act like a sling that holds your bladder prostate, and urethra in place. Strengthening them can help squeeze out that leftover urine. Here's how to do it. Find the right muscles. Try stopping your urine mid-flow. That's your pelvic floor. Contract them for 5 seconds, then relax for 5 seconds. Repeat 10 times, 2 to 3 times a day. Pro tip, don't do this while urinating long term. It's just a test. Constantly interrupting flow can actually cause problems. Number 2. Milking the urethra technique Some men use this technique to manually push out trapped urine. After being pressed gently behind a scrotum, perineum, then slide your fingers toward along the urethra 
toward the tip of the penis. Do this before pulling your underwear back up. It might sound weird, but it helps clear out what's left and can dramatically reduce dribble. Number 3. Sit down to pee. Not every guy wants to hear this, but sitting down allows better bladder emptying. Especially if your muscles are weak or your prostate is enlarged. It also helps you relax your pelvic muscles. Important for full drainage. Number 4. Stay active. Physical activity boosts pelvic circulation and muscle tone. Every 30 minutes of brisk walking, a day improves bladder control, according to the Mayo Clinic. Number 5. Avoid constipation. Straining to poop out puts pressure on your pelvic floor, making urine dribble worse. Eat more fiber, stay hydrated, and don't ignore the urge to go. When to see a doctor? If you've tried all this and you're still having trouble, or if you're over 50, it's smart to talk to a urologist. You may need a prostate exam, a bladder ultrasound to check for residual urine, a urinalysis to rule out infection, or even a uroflow test to see how well you're emptying. There are also medications and non-invasive procedures that can help depending on the cost. Here's a sample daily routine to help eliminate post-pay dribbling. Morning. Drink a glass of water to start your day. Do 10 kegels while brushing your teeth. Try sitting it to pee at least once. Midday. Take a brisk 10 to 15 minute walk. Avoid holding your pee for too long. Evening. More kegels before bed. Do the milk the urethra trick after your final pee. Give it 2 to 4 weeks and if nothing improves, talk to a specialist. Let's be honest. No guy wants to deal with leaks, and no one wants to talk about it. But more than 1 in 5 men over the age of 40 experience this issue. You're not alone. The good news, you can take control with a few simple changes. No surgery, no shame, just awareness, action, and consistency. So the next time someone asks, Why do I still pee after I'm done peeing? You'll know the answer. If this video helped you or someone you know, do us a favor, like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or questions. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. We've got more real health talk coming your way. This is Whole Health, where men's health is talked about honestly, with no filter. Stay confident, stay informed, and stay dry. See you next time.